Hi, I'm Carrie from The Summer Home, and today I'm going to walk you through the art of styling a bookcase like a pro. Whether you have a built-in bookcase like mine, a smaller bookshelf, or open shelves, these steps will work for any size or type of shelf. And the best part? Styling a shelf is as simple as following just six easy steps. All right, friends, let's get started. Step one is we're gonna start with an empty shelf. The first thing that you want to do is clear everything off of your shelves. Trust me, it's easier to start with a clean slate. Even if you know you'll be using an item, it's just best to start with empty shelves. Next, you're going to gather all of your decor items and group similar items together on the floor, which is going to make it easier to access them as you start styling. And also this way you can easily grab what you need as you go along. All right, now that we've cleared off our shelves and grouped like items together, we're going to go on to step two, which is we're gonna place artwork and personal photos. When I start styling my empty shelves, I like to start with the bigger items. So for this tutorial, we are starting with artwork and photos. And this is also a really fun spot to start because you really get to add personality to your shelves. Artwork is great for not only adding visual interest, but it also allows you to infuse seasonal touches and colors into your shelves. Whether it's a vibrant spring print, or maybe a cozy fall scene, or timeless black and white photography, you're gonna wanna choose pieces that you love and that complement the overall aesthetic of your space. And switch the artwork out seasonally. It's really such a great inexpensive way to get a completely new look. And incorporating personal photos into your bookshelf is obviously a great way to add your own personal touch. Bookshelves are such a great spot for family portraits, vacation snapshots, or milestone moments. And when styling your shelves with artwork and personal photos, you're going to want to mix and match frames of varying sizes and styles to create visual interest. For example, if you have a brass frame leaned vertically, place a black frame placed horizontally near it. This will help balance out the overall feel and look of your shelves. You can lean frames against the wall or use decorative objects such as easels and books to elevate your artwork and photos. And also remember to balance the placement of photos and artwork throughout your shelves. Sprinkle them throughout as opposed to grouping them all together. I will link in the description below artwork and frame favorites, and I'm going to also link a couple of different blog posts that you may find helpful regarding artwork. One is a post all about where to buy artwork for the home, and the second is the best place for online art printing. And in this one, I share exactly what and how I order if I'm printing digital art prints. All right, friends, we have cleared our shelves and placed some artwork and personal photos, and now it's time to move on to step three, which is adding in books. So when adding your books, you're gonna wanna mix things up by placing them both vertically and horizontally throughout the shelves. And if you want to display your reading books, go for it. There are seriously no rules here. We choose to store our reading books behind the closed doors of our bookshelves, but this is just a matter of preference. There are beautiful bookshelves styled with entire book collections that I love. And in fact, I will put a link in the description below to a really great blog post that's all about styling your shelves with lots of books. You may find this helpful. Decorative books are such a great item to have on hand when styling shelves because they offer a great way to add height to the vignette. You can top books with items like personal photos, a decorative object, or a vase filled with flowers. And when they are styled vertically, you can use an object as a bookend to add an additional layer of interest to the shelf. And for this, I love to use unexpected items, such as filling a vase with flowers and styling it next to a stack of vertical books. You can also use actual bookends to style a few books floating on your shelves like shown here. I will link in the description below a list of my favorite coffee table books to style throughout my home. I'm also linking to a blog post where I share my favorite coffee table book groupings. All right, so we've cleared off the shelves, we've placed artwork, personal photos, and books, and now we're gonna move on to step four, which is layering in larger objects. 
To add depth and visual interest to our shelves, we want to layer in the larger objects like vases, pots, bowls, baskets, and decorative boxes to really anchor our display. I love to have a variety of baskets on hand when styling my shelves. They're great for storing items that you don't want out on display, and they're also great as a statement piece styled empty. Another way that I love to use baskets is for styling as a vase for my faux greenery. Another great way to style vases or pots is with a pair or a set, like you can see here, and you can style them separately or together as a set. Decorative boxes are another larger item that I think are so great when styling your shelves for several different reasons. One in a spot like a home office or a laundry room, you can use them for storage. And number two, like vases and pots, larger sets of stacking boxes are a great way to fill up a large space, which is really helpful if you're styling a big area. And I also love boxes because they come in so many different sizes and materials adding interest to your shelves. I have boxes made of marble, metal stacking boxes, wood boxes, woven boxes. I really think the more variety, the better when it comes to boxes. Another great larger object to layer in would be decorative bowls. And you can style these empty or filled. And when thinking of placing these larger items, you're gonna wanna vary the size, shapes, colors, and types that you are using. And if you place a large vase or basket on your shelf, don't place another large item right above, below, or next to it. Another tip is less is usually more when it comes to these items. A few well-placed pieces can make a big impact. And especially for smaller shelves, one oversized pot or basket could be enough. Okay, on to step five, which is to layer in smaller objects. Think small vases, candles, small bowls, and little pots. Get creative with how you arrange them, whether it's as a book topper or styled next to larger items. You could style a set of candle holders on top of a stack of books. You could style a marble object or candle as a bookend or style a garland or decorative links on their own or on top of books. And a small candle stacked next to an art print or on top of a stack of books is a no fail way to add interest to your shelves. Okay, on to step six, which is adding in the flowers and the greenery. So this is a big one, my friends. This is what really gets to bring your shelves to life. And this is why I save it for the end. After I've placed the larger items and layered in smaller items, I like to step back and kind of take a look and see where on the shelf a few sprinkles of greenery or flowers could help. So whether you're adding flowers to a vase or tucking greenery into a pot, it's really the perfect finishing touch. During the spring and summer months, I will bring fresh flowers in, but during the rest of the year, I almost always rely solely on faux greenery. I love to place them in baskets, pots and vases, and for the smaller ones, I like to prop them up on top of a stack of books, as you can see here. And you guys, I do not have a green thumb, so I stick to faux, but if you do, shelves are such a great spot to display your plants. And if you're adding a plant or flowers to a pot, I recommend not placing it right next to a filled pot or vase. You want to sprinkle the greenery throughout the shelves. You can see in this shot, I have styled a variety of greenery, but I spread them out so it doesn't appear too cluttered. As you can see, there is a small vase filled with fresh flowers styled in front of some spring artwork, a small faux plant topping a stack of books, and another bigger plant inside of a basket. And if you have a smaller bookcase or open shelves, one pot filled with greenery is the perfect touch. And here's a tip, friends. Place coasters inside of your larger baskets for the faux plant to stand on. It will appear more substantial. The plant in the basket here is quite small, but when you prop it up on the coasters, it appears to be a large plant and fits the pot so much better. Okay, let's summarize our steps one through six. First of all, we're going to start with empty shelves to create a clean slate. 
Next, we're gonna spread the decor out on the floor that you think you might be using so you have a good visual of what you're working with. And then you're gonna go step by step, varying the size, shapes, colors, textures, and types of items you're using. If you place a large item like a vase or basket, don't place another large item right above, below, or next to it. This will help balance out the overall feel and look of your shelves. And there you have it, friends. With these six simple steps, you can easily transform any bookcase or shelf into a stylish focal point in your home. Thank you so much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more home decor tips and tricks. Until next time, my friends, happy styling.